Tour groups were back on the floor of the Texas Senate Monday. Where she works, they have a little movie about it. The furniture that was rearranged for the Ken Paxton impeachment trial is now back in place. This judgment will be filed. With but after the Senate's acquittal vote for the Attorney General on Saturday, repairing the political rift that cost poses a much bigger job. You know, this has a bit of a Humpty Dumpty effect. You can't put it back together again. The bad blood has been aired, at least with the current leadership. Brian Smith with St. Edwards University told me that bad blood between Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and House Speaker Dade Phelan will certainly be on display again if and when a special session is called. Lawmakers are expected to take up a teacher pay raise and Governor Greg Abbott's modified school choice idea. The governor has said he wants school choice. This was one of his big legislative priorities. He ran on this issue and he's not going to give it up without a fight. And if that means holding teacher pay raises hostage in order to get what he wants or at least get a vote on what he wants, he's going to be willing to do that or call another special session until he gets that vote. Governor Abbott was in Houston Monday kicking off a hospital reconstruction project. He didn't take any questions about how he plans on rebuilding political relationships under the Capitol Dome. Vouchers have gone from dead to double dead. Mark Wiggins with the Association of Texas Professional Educators spoke to me by Zoom. He noted the school voucher idea which cleared the Senate failed in the House during the regular session. He knows in a special session, an attempt to force a plan through the House could involve wrapping school choice into a teacher pay bill. Well, I think there's no reason to strike a deal that involves one for the other. We're talking about something that would have very long-term implications, negative implications on the public school system. You know, vouchers would set us on a path of privatization that would ruin the public school system for generations to come. Another ugly divisive debate by Republicans could provide Democrats with some much needed political spin, according Same to Smith. Party. And if they're unable to get legislation passed, this opens the door for the Democrats to say, you know what, you've given this party a chance. They're not passing anything. Why not turn the ball over to us?